Sara, thanks for talking to us. You're here in Portugal to be the, one of, the, one of the, the, the elements of the jury for a contest. Uh, what do you find of the, the, the work that's being presented here? It's there, is there uh, lots of talent here? Well, first of all, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for interviewing me. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I think it's a beautiful initiative, uh, the one that we have set up. And, uh, well, I have great expectations uh, from the designers, uh, I, especially from the point of view of the quality um, of the materials that are going to choose for their collections and uh, the kind of uh, professionalism that they're going to have in putting everything together. What are the, the, the main aspects that you're looking for and uh, uh, what, uh, uh, from your point of view and your analysis, what's the most important? Well, for me, uh, one of the most important things is the ability to tell a story. The ability to tell a story which, is, which needs to be visually conveyed. So it's not easy to tell a story when you are not using words, but you're using objects uh, to help you. Um, and especially I expect to see quality in the fabrications, as I was saying, because uh, Portugal is a country which has a tradition, which has a heritage in this. And so I expect to see in the young designers a sensitivity for the material. Lots of parents usually have a question that uh, is, uh, is there a market and job opportunities for, uh, I believe, uh, many, many students uh, that want to, to be part of the, the fashion business. Is, are there uh, these kind of opportunities for them? Well, um, the theme of job opportunities in the fashion business in reality is not any different from uh, any other job opportunity in any other field. Uh, this is a moment uh, which is a bit difficult. I mean, definitely back in the 80s it was a lot easier, okay? But yes, there are opportunities. There are opportunities for the students, especially when they have talent, when they are passionate and they are really willing to be noticed. I believe, like you, you are saying, uh, for one who wants to, to be part of the, the fashion business, you can't be scared of, of taking risks, right? Well, you know, to the risk taking for me is one of the ingredients which is at the basis of creativity. Um, so uh, I believe that uh, if you want to be in the fashion business, uh, risk taking is a big, big thing that you need to have. At uh, the Dom Domus Academy in Milan, uh, you have, I believe, Portuguese students there. Uh, what do you think of them? Are they, are they uh, up there among the, the very best? Yes, absolutely. We have had uh, some Portuguese students in my course. I have had uh, one Portuguese student for each course in the last uh, one year and a half. And uh, I have to say, yes, that they are very well prepared. They have a very personal sensitivity, a very rich culture, which they are able to use really well in the project. And for those who, who won't be able to have their own, to create their own brand, what are the options to, uh, for, for, for working in, the, in this business? Well, and I would say that uh, based on my experience, not all the students that we have had uh, decide to open up their own brand. This is a big decision that sometimes also implies uh, big financial possibilities. But um, most of the students, in any case, carry on working and having a career as fashion designers in design companies or studios starting as junior designers, arriving to senior positions. They also work in accessories. Uh, they can work as fashion stylists. They can work as trend researcher. They can also work as freelance and consultants. They can also work in retail and uh, visual merchandising. Uh, they can work in marketing and communication. So there are many positions which are open. And sometimes, I mean, um, also fashion designers then uh, end up becoming fashion journalists, for example. So it is a background which opens up a lot of different positions. There are a lot of different uh, um, branches uh, that fashion has inside. Uh, and this is also one of the reasons why in Thomas Academy we actually have different courses uh, which are dedicated uh, to all these areas. Uh, and so basically the students uh, can come and they choose normally, they are master of reference and they dedicate uh, one year of study going in depth uh, on all the professional aspects of these fields. 
Um, so Domus Academy is a school that was founded in 1983, so it has quite uh, a long history, I would say now, and uh, it, it grew its consolidation. I mean, it, it has become really a consolidated school thanks to the collaboration that we have with companies, with the industry, and which makes the school and the experience of the school very unique. Plus, it is uh, an international hub. Uh, it is a place where you can find people really from all over the world and this is an incredible richness which nurture a lot to the culture of the students.